Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Last Friday, episode 412, I showed you how to use the concatenation character A2 ampersand quote space quote ampersand B2 to join text from column A and column B. I want to point out that there's a problem here if you try and join text and dates. So if I add to this formula and say, for example, was born on and then ampersand C2 to get that date in C2, instead of getting January 18th, 1958, I'm getting 21203. Well, what is 21203? That's the number of days since January 1st, 1900 that Toya was born. Well, that's a fascinating fact if you're Cliff Clavin. I've never had a manager call me and say, hey, how many days after January 1st, 1900 does that receivable do? Never ever happens. Now, what we have to do in order to format that cell as text is to use the text function. So I'll ask for the text of C2 and then a comma and in quotes, I have to put the custom number format. So I'm going to guess mm slash dd slash yyyy and sure enough, it now converts it to January 18th, 1958. If you're a person that sits around memorizing all the custom number format codes, you can actually put in any code that you want. For example, four d's comma four m's d comma yyyy and it will actually spell out the day and the month for us however you want to do. If you know the custom number format codes, feel free to drop them in there. Otherwise, uh, just use something basic like mm slash dd slash yyyy. Basically, that's a great way anytime that you have a date or currency and you're trying to join text, you'll want to use the text function to specify the custom number format. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow for another 2007 Thursday.